Uh, well, 20 years ago, I, uh, I was playing rugby, got the opportunity to go out to New Zealand and uh, play for a season out there for a club. I uh, went out there and suffered a spinal cord injury. I uh, spent a year and a half in hospital and I did get some recovery, um, but I'm obviously left a, a permanent wheelchair user with sort of limited use of my arms and hands. The idea now is to try and raise some money for spinal research by using that sort of 20 year landmark to uh, return to New Zealand and complete a 250 mile hand cycle, uh, setting off from the spinal unit where I was originally treated. Um, it was a moment of madness. Uh, I think there was alcohol involved. Um, I mentioned it to a, a couple of folk and then uh, next thing I knew it was happening. It really has been uh, pretty hard work. It's absolutely taken over my life for the last six months with uh, working full time and uh, training in the evenings and weekends. It's, uh, it really has taken over. Yeah, I've, I've uh, just been gradually increasing the mileage over the last uh, six months. Last weekend I did uh, the longest I'd done in a day so far, which was 22 miles. Um, so, And tomorrow I'm hoping to do 25 miles, which is what I'm intending to average per day when I'm out there. The most annoying trait if people are out training with me would be a, I tend to go, when, it get, when it get, go and gets tough, I get a bit grumpy. Um, so people are best just to, to back off and not talk to me and leave me to it. So, yeah, it can be a bit snappy. If money was just, you could raise the, the, an infinite amount of money, what... What could be achieved, David? Since my injury 20 years ago, they've come a huge way in, in developing treatments for that can help repair the spinal cord. And at the moment, there's a number of treatments which are sort of on the verge of, you know, being being applied to humans. And it's really that last last push that's that's needed to get some of these uh, treatments actually out of the laboratory and into into the clinics. Um, so you know, it it could make a massive, di massive difference to, to help people um, recover, be able to have the possibility of a recovery after a spinal cord injury, which at the moment there is no treatment. Um, if you have a spinal cord injury, it's just up to the body to repair in the best way it can. I think all, all of us uh, sitting on the settee uh, realise that this could have been anybody um, rugby is a fantastic sport, but uh, there are risks in life in whatever you do, and rugby is a contact sport. Thankfully, very few people are injured, uh, spinal injuries, but it does happen. And the great thing about the rugby community is it looks after its own. Mm -hmm. And uh, huge uh, support from all over the world. Uh, certainly, recently for Tom Evans, I know he had uh, phenomenal, overwhelming support. And for David, you know, he's already. Uh, clocking up the pounds and let's hope he gets many, many more. I mean, just uh, 25 miles a day for 10 days, it's like running a marathon, isn't it? For, and, and, you know, you just cannot imagine what it's like and, and having, you know, your arms working constantly. I mean, he's going to have the biggest guns in Scotland, aren't you? <laughs> After that, that's going to be quite impressive, if nothing else. I think the beauty of this is people can get behind, uh, behind Dave. Um, the rugby community does look after its own. We're a team sport. We get behind our individuals as one team. And I think the people in New Zealand and people throughout the world, the beauty of the internet, of YouTube, of uh, the, the, uh, the donations to the website, it can just only be good for this particular campaign. And hopefully once and for all, we can actually find a, a cure to spinal cord injuries and get people back up on their feet again. And this man's giving us inspiration, um, and that's what sport is about. It's about inspiration, it's about bringing people together, and uh, we're delighted to be here supporting you, Dave, today.